Hey everyone, so about a week ago I had a PowerPoint party with people from school and we did it like through Zoom. Um, and basically it's a party where you make a PowerPoint on literally anything. Um, and when I say literally anything, I mean I made a PowerPoint about ranking holidays, so let's get into it. To start the year off, we have Valentine's Day. No one really likes it, and it makes you feel bad about yourself, and how come you didn't post about me on your Insta? Why does Facebook say it's complicated? Please call me. The only saving grace is the candy, but not those stupid heart things, because if I'm being honest, they, um, they upset my stomach a little bit. So, 4 out of 10. Then there's St. Patrick's Day, and, uh, you know, drinking is fun if you're 21 or older. And green is a good color on me, so 8 out of 10. Then there's Easter, and there's chocolate and wine, and as you can see pictured, some cute clothing, nice color schemes. Has anyone ever seen Peter Rabbit? It's actually pretty good. Does anyone remember Hop? I think he like pooped jelly beans or something. Anyway, it's not really for me though, so 6 out of 10. Arbor Day. Arbor Day, it's for the trees. Arbor Day, yeah, it's for me. Arbor Day, we still have school. Arbor Day is pretty cool. So that's just a sample um, from my mixtape. Just kidding. Um, it's actually a song that a few friends and I wrote um, in junior year of high school. We were in a music class, so that was a fun time. We actually had like verses where we talked about all of the holidays. Um, pretty, uh, pretty fire. Um, but it's copyrighted, so don't try me and save the planet. Ten trees out of ten. July 4th. I think this is the one day that America, like, gets its shit together, and I'm like, okay, she's cute, she's working on herself. Um, every other day, I kind of, um, feel like everything is on fire all the time. Um, but hey, at least on July 4th, there are fireworks, there's grilling, you know, who doesn't love a hot dog, there's drinking, so... Just for this one day, America gets a 10 out of 10. Labor Day. Ugh. I mean, sure, fine, but who cares? Boring. Who do you even know here? 4 out of 10. Halloween. Yes. Witches and bitches. Need I say more? Has anyone ever seen Trick or Treat, though? Because that movie is messed up. But there are fun costumes, there's candy, and there's parties. 10 out of 10. Thanksgiving. More like, no thanks, giving, get it? But really, it depends on who's cooking. Um, and somehow this manages to be the most political event of the year. Um, and I'm just here for the food. You know what I mean? And then there's also a lot of just invasive personal questions, especially when you're in college. Everyone just wants to know what's happening with you. And again, I'm just here for the food. Two out of 10. Next up, there's Christmas. So there's gifts for all, and there are Christmas lights that are really pretty, and the food is usually pretty good. There's drinking, there's eggnog, which I recently found out is actually really good. Uh, so 10 out of 10. Also, I've met Santa, and he's pretty nice. New Year's Eve. Absolute banger. End in the year right, start in the year right. Everyone's in a great mood, the food is good, there are drinks, but it's also classy. 10 out of 10. Lastly, we have some honorable mentions. Robert Frost's birthday. Um, I don't really think I need to explain this one too much. 9 out of 10. What's my favorite? Oh, thanks for asking. I would say it's a toss up between Halloween and Christmas. Questions? Comments? I have many opinions and I could really go on forever. 